المراهق بريطاني انتزع قلب عجوز بعدما طعنه وشرب من دمها هناك ناس مهوسون بمص دماء كبار السن فهؤلاء وحوش على شكل بشر The main theme in most of the Arab media is hostility to Israel and the United States and the West. In the Arab media, there is a uh, process of demonizing Jews and the West. There is widespread use of this theme of portraying Israel and the United States as Satan. And this is a, an integral part of Arab uh, Islamist propaganda. The amount of hate propaganda is far more extensive and pervasive than the attention it has received in the Western media. این مرگ بر آمریکایی که مردم ما میگویند این مثل همون اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم است که در اول هر سوره قرآن برای چیست یک لحظه از یاد نبرد که شیطان آماده حمله به او و انهدام حصار معنوی و ایمانی اوست این مرگ بر آمریکان برای همینه After 9-11, a lot of people in the West asked, why do they hate us? And start, some of them even started blaming themselves, uh, looking what, what could America have done? There were numerous examples in American academia and media after 9-11 that placed the blame of 9-11 on American imperialism around the world. Uh, the message was, these people must be suffering so much if they're willing to blow up the World Trade Center. And they started saying, what could have we done to make them so angry at us? Is it our foreign policy? Is it us? Did, what did we do? From the Western eyes, that seems very logical. Why would someone go blow, blow up the world center? Now, this message was given in academia, it was given in, in a significant part of the media, and it is unfortunate because, again, it is distracting the population from the real source of the problem, which is an ideology which wants to destroy the West. It's their duty to, to do jihad. <laughs> This clip was broadcast on Palestinian TV the day after London suffered four suicide terror attacks. Arab media plays a major role in public opinion. Arab dictators in order to survive, constantly incite their people against the West, the Jews, and the United States. This is how they survive, by telling their people they are all to blame except for us. There will always be some root cause in their effort to mobilize a population. There will be some grievance that they will cling to. It's a distraction sense. We dictators aren't the enemy. We're like you, we're Arabs. The real enemy is the Jews. It is the West. It is modernism. Those are the things that are destroying the very fabric of our society. One of the main ways they get the people to be willing to fight and endanger their lives and to hate the West is to present the war as an act of self-defense. So in order for you to do jihad, you have to find a good reason. So the best reason is we're defending ourselves. We there is an enemy out there who wants to get us. America wants to get us. 
للشعوب العربية والإسلامية هي الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية وليست إسرائيل فحسب أمريكا هذه الإدارة الأمريكية هي عدو They blame every little problem in the Arab society on the West ثم حقيقة أمريكا هي في الغالب كما يثبت الواقع وراء جميع المشاكل نعتبرها عدوة لأنها أكبر ناهب لثرواتنا ونفطنا وخيراتنا فيما يعيش مئات الملايين من أبناء أمتنا في البطالة والفقر والجوع والعزوبية والجهل والظلام وما شاكل Nothing could be done wrong by Arabs It's always the West If you want to get people to fight you have to make them think that there's a threat and then they're in danger This is an integral part, an integral part of Islamist propaganda. It recruits a lot of terrorists. That's the purpose of the Islamist uh, propaganda, is to make the people angry, hateful against the West, to be willing to fight them. And the 